Hi guys, um, this is a video, it's quite a serious video actually, it's about something that I've um, I read in a magazine and I researched a little bit about it on the internet as well. Some of you may already know about this and I, I, I hope you do know about it. Um, um, but for those of you who don't know about it, this is just a, a little warning video and you can look out for it and make sure it doesn't happen. Okay, here goes. First of all, two security companies um, who make antivirus software, SecureMac and uh, I think the other one's called Intego. Sorry, I'm looking at notes that I've made. Um, have announced the existence of a Trojan horse that is affecting Macs. Um, now basically this is an Apple script .txt Trojan uh, and it's been talked about on a hacker website and uh, it's regarding the the talk that's on the website is about how it's being distributed through iChat and um, another software called LangWire. I've never heard of that. But uh, this is how this Trojan horse is being distributed. Okay, um, now I, I will put up in the uh, in the little bit up in the corner, I'll put up the different files and what have you to look out for not to download. Now like all Trojan horses, when you download this file, um, and it, it only becomes active when you open it. Okay, but first of all, this, this is what this Trojan horse does. Uh, first of all, uh, it runs hidden on your system and it allows anyone to become a remote user on your system. Um, so, obviously, some hacker wanting to get into your system will be able to run your system as a remote user. Um, Apparently they can transmit system and user passwords and um, but they can avoid detection by opening ports in the firewall. Okay, so that's quite scary actually if somebody can just take over like that. Also the Trojan can log keystrokes. So if you're entering uh, credit card details or anything they get there, this Trojan can log your keystrokes. Uh, it can take full advantage of your eyesight, it can take photos through your eyesight, uh, it can take videos from your eyesight, uh, it can also take screenshots and turn on the file screen sharing uh, that's obviously in Leopard. Uh, and it does all this by exploiting a reported vulnerability in the Apple remote desktop application. Um, so, I mean, like, if this Trojan gets into your system, this is obviously quite serious because people can, like, I mean, like, the, like I say, log keystrokes. So if you buy anything, um, even if it's using PayPal, they can get your um, passwords and what have you. Um, now, this Trojan comes in two forms. It comes in um, a file, and it's the first one is a compiled Apple script called AS. THTV05 and it's a 60 kilobit document in size uh, or the second way is an application bundle called ASTHT underscore V06 and it's about 3.1 megabit in size now like I say I, I will put them down on in the uh, information section so take a look at the information section and you'll be able to see uh, the exact type of file and size to look out for and obviously not download. Um, if if you do download it, this is how it works, if you do download it and open it, um, the Trojan will move itself into the uh, library caches folder and then add itself to the system login details. So um, that that's where it heads to straight away to then start distributing itself out. Um, both the companies that I mentioned uh, earlier on, um, SecureMac and Indigo, uh, both these companies have issued updated virus definitions to their security software. Um, and they are for SecureMac, their, their update is MacScan 2.5.2 and Indigo, theirs is Virus Barrier x5 um, so again I'll put it up in the information section as well just in case any of you can take advantage of these 
updates and downloads. They have stated that um, Apple have yet to address the vulnerability that the Trojan is utilizing. Now obviously I don't know whether Apple have addressed this yet or anything like that. Um, I'm just going by what I've said. They, you know, they more than likely have addressed this situation and if they have, great. But it was just something I read and I thought to myself that it, it's probably important just to let people know, you know, if it if it's if it's turns out to be nonsense and it's nothing to worry about, well then that's great. But just in case it's not nonsense, just in case it's something really serious and if this Trojan is what it says it is, then in my view that's it's quite serious. Um I think um I was watching one of Eugene from the Blue Hours videos and he said that when he was using um, Windows, I think it was either using the Bootcamp version or, or Parallels or something like that, he got quite a nasty Trojan on that. Um, so obviously he, he knows the, the nightmares that can come with Trojans. Um, but like I say, yeah, he, he, Eugene put in one of his videos that um, he, did, he got a Trojan. So. If this video helps at least one person, well then it's 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 been worth making. Um, so I hope um, I hope this helps any of you. And if you already know about it, great. If you don't, then this will be a little bit of a bonus. So anyway, thanks very much for listening, and I'll talk to you later.